On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your background blur out like this in Filmora 10. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron Bowman here. Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. But before we get into today's video and how we're gonna make this blur effect, this bokeh look in your videos, regardless of what kind of camera you have, I gotta say, I'm sorry for not posting a while. Things in my life have been crazy, but we're gonna get back on track here and have regular videos coming out. So thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for checking in on the channel to see if anything new has been posted. But let's jump into today's video and this is a super easy effect. It doesn't take much, just a couple little workarounds using Filmora 10 in order to get that blurred background. Now, right now I'm not using that effect. This is just the effect through my camera lens on my Sony. But if you don't have that focal point and you want that blurred background, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So let's go jump over on the computer and let's take a look at how this is done. All right, so here we are on the computer and I've already uploaded some of the files that I'm gonna be using. So if you are new to Filmora and you've never used their product before, maybe you're checking this video out and you want, want to pick up their product, there will be links in the description for Mac or PC for a free download. Once you get on your computer, you can then play with the software. So if you wanna import real quick, you can go here, hit import file. It'll bring up a folder. You can search for your um, clips or what you wanna bring up. Same thing right here if you click on this. So one thing I wanna show you before we get into actually editing the video is once you have your video clip, you wanna bring it up in here. And that's what I have with this video clip here. Edit it the way I wanted to exported it and then I uploaded it to this site right here called unscreen.com. So you can upload a video here for free. It'll remove the background just like that. It has other backgrounds that you can put in its place. So that's the first part that I'm going to show you what we're going to do using Filmora 10. So once you have Filmora 10 in, you're going to bring in your um, original video clip and you're gonna splice it to where you want the background to go blurry. So I did that right here, and then this is the part that I wanna have blurry. That's why it's separate. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna import your um, blank background photo, which is right here, and you're gonna put that on another line. So you wanna make sure that you have um, a space in between because we're gonna put in an effect here, and that's what's on this line here. And it's called square blur, and I'm gonna show you you can go over to effect and this will do its thing. You can type in blur, hit enter, and it's gonna bring it up right here. So then you have your blur two or square blur, which is what I want right here. You can play with the different ones that's on here. These are all included. And if it's not already on your system, you'll see a little download arrow. So let's say I want this one here. I just click on it twice and it downloads it right to my software. So basically when I'm going through this, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna have color graded everything before I start making my splices, which is just a time saver. So that's just a quick little pro tip for you. Make sure you do all your color grading or any type of editing to your actual feel of the video before you start splicing it up. Cause the last thing you want to do is have like 50 different cuts through here because you had to pull some stuff out. And then all of a sudden you're like, great. Now I have to go into each individual one and um, set the color grading for it. So what we're going to do is you'll see here, this is the beginning of the video that you're currently watching me talking. And then I have the splice here and I'm just going to click this little lock here to lock this in so I can't move it. And then I'm going to click the, uh, what do you call it? Your little eyeball just to take that out. So what'll happen is it'll play the third track and the first track. So when you're playing it, it doesn't look really that much different, right? Because it's imposed and I haven't been moving around much. When you're doing this, you really want to have very little movement on your subject. I tried it with, you know, my hands moving and it just didn't sync right. So that being said, I'm going to remove the eyeball here so we can see what's going on on this and um, unlock this and lock these two so they don't go anywhere. And then this is what's going to happen if it's just the main clip without the background removed. Everything goes blurry, right? So what's going to happen is when you have this other clip where you've removed the background, it's going to impose over where you were sitting or whatever you were doing. So it's me sitting in this matter and it fits perfectly because it's same video clip. And then what it does is it just blurs out that background, which is kind of cool. So this is definitely something you can use in any of your um, videos. And again, as long as you don't have too much movement in it. So again, the things you're gonna need is your main clip. You're gonna need to edit that, color grade it, 
splice it to where you want the blurry part to be, export that one part, then you're gonna wanna upload that to unscreen.com. You can get a lower quality version or you can pay for the pro version. If you pay for the pro version, it should look like mine and it was literally $3, it was $2.99. So if you're, you can buy a subscription base too depending on how many times you're gonna be doing this. But for me, for this one part, it was kind of cool. It makes the, the, the background a little bit more blurry than what my camera would do based on focal lengths and stuff like that. So once you have that, then the only effect you need out of Filmora 10 is the square blur, or you can pick a different one that you'd like to, uh, to try. And that's under the effects tab. And again, you just type in blur in the search bar, hit enter, it'll bring up all the blurs. And then you just drag it and bring it right down onto your timeline. And there you go, you export it and you will have yourself a blurred background in your next video. All right, so what'd you think? Pretty simple, there's just a few extra steps. But on a scale of one to 10, as far as difficulty, I think this is like a two, two and a half. You definitely can do it and then it can add that little touch to your video that you may not be able to get depending on what kind of camera system you're using, whether it's your cell phone, point and shoot, or a digital SLR, maybe you just don't have the lens. This is a great workaround for that and it adds a little bit to your video. Thanks for watching, consider liking, subscribing, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.